Okay, USDJPY. Let's look for a three minutes put. One twenty four above, guys. Yeah, I like it. One twenty four above three minutes put USDJPY. UJ is not yet there. Let's wait. One twenty four above three minutes put. We're still waiting for UJ, guys. I like your GBP too. So, but I'm waiting for 199 for your GBP. 199, yes. 199 or above for a three minutes put as well. So, we have two trades right now. Your GBP 199. Or oh, above USDJPY one to four above. Let's see the boats come for us. Okay, guys, for Euro GBP. At the 172, let us all take a five minutes put at 172. So if it comes to 199, we will not take another 10 minutes. One seventy-two will go in for five minutes. Please be ready to roll once if it's needed. I can see great support right there. Let's see if it makes its way up there. 172, I'll go in for five guys. UG did not come to our level. This is what I want to avoid on this as well. I don't want it to leave us. Um, okay, 171, I'm going in for five guys, five minutes boots right there. When it comes to the 198 area, I will go in for three. But if it doesn't, we are already in the trade. That's what we're trying to do. One seventy-three, good. That's a good entry, guys. That's a good entry there. So let's see what happens. We are in at 170, 173 area. The reason why we gave you more time is because, um, oh, UAUD has the same setup. Uh, can't get to the has the same setup. Two entities at our line. One sixty eight. Okay, I hope he did not catch a moving trade. Okay, 168 is a good entry as well. I think I got 169. Mm -hmm. So guys, um, 
I think I like the area easy the setup as well. But I'll be more comfortable with 202 for Euro NZD because of the middle band there, my 618 area and everything. But I, can, I have a line at the 0 0.5 here. That was a good area there for. Let's get out of Euro GBP first. Once we clear Euro GBP, then. Maybe we can take another five minutes straight. Mm. Okay, the 15 minute reversal is here. We should see some down move. Uh, two minutes left. Okay, some people are clearing. Okay, guys, EUAUD is back. EUAUD is back for the 15 minute reversal. So, this is what we're going to do EUAUD 233 or above. We are going in for a three minute put 233 or above. 233 or above, three minutes puts, guys. Okay, guys, zero NZD is closed as well. I need 202, 201 area before we get into. I think I even like the zero NZD set up more. Come on. It has a very good payout on my broker even. I think is even there already. So just going for three minutes already, one nine one. I'm expecting a bearish reaction here. Yeah. Whatever entry you can get, three minutes put there. Do not over leverage points. I got 202 and 205, three minutes put. I have said that before, manager trader. So it's touching, we are expecting our move right now. Let's see. It's in our box. I got to zero 05 and 201. Nice. It's at 178 now, so whatever you got, you should be in the profit. I'm close to ending my trade. Okay, that was a clear, guys. Someone said EJ looks good. Mm, let's check it out, EJ. EJ already moved. I have a line there that it respected, but it moved already, sorry. But we can't catch it all. I don't like getting in on moves that have already happened. Uh, GBP, Euro card, Euro hold, Euro NCG. Mm. Guys, I still like that this euro NZD. I'm going to go in for another three minutes put if you can come up to the 202 again. That's not me the move I'm looking for. It's stalling. Any retest to the 202 and above, I'm going in for another three minutes put, guys. It retested the 200. Did anybody get in? There it is again. I got two or three. 
If I clear this, that will be four and all for me. But I think officially we can just say three and all. Yep, cleared, 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 cleared. Uh, 15 seconds more, come on. Let's go. Drop your records in the chat, guys. Let me see how you're doing. Let's see what we can call the session officially. D120 to one to zero three zero. Come on, this thing gave us another test. I'm no longer taking a retest test. I'm done with this pair. This pair is crazy. Okay, let's see if we can have one more. Just one quick one. Uh, come on, come on, retracement, retracement, retracement. Please do not take it again. I'm done with that pair and decide to break that resistance now. The reason why it's staying that long is because it doesn't want to respect that here. If it wants to respect it, it should have gone down by now. It is looking to break that area and keep going there, so. IQ sense, well, I can't I can't dispute that with IQ sense. They do a lot of manipulations. You just need to be careful. Once their bot is onto your account, you see a lot of crazy things. While I was using them, there was a time because I kept withdrawing and I'm disturbing them. I would take a three minute trade, they would give me one minute. At times they will even give me three minutes, but then in one minute or so, you just see the trade in red whenever I'm in negative. So they started doing a lot of manipulations that way. I had to like just, you know, mm -mm. everybody that knows me knows I I don't like IQ sent. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't like them. I prefer binary sense, pocket option, you know, all this. Um, uh, binary sense for rollover, broker, pocket option for non rollover. Ah, USD card. Let's see if USD card can feed us, guys. Please, low risk. I'm seeing a lot of spikes here as well, so we want to be careful. So 705, if USD card can make it back to that 705, touch it one more time. We'll go in for a three minute put and that will be the end of the session, guys. 705 or above. Just touch it now and wick it down. So if it touches it again, three minutes puts there. Okay, I got 706, guys. 706, three minutes I am in, and that's it. I hope you got a good entry, guys. Ooh, this is tanking, guys. <laughs> 